everyone, we're back with another favorites video. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything that I've been loving for the month of October. So if you're interested, just keep watching. This month, I added a couple of jewelry pieces to my collection that I am in love with. The first ones that I'm going to talk about are hoops. I mentioned in a previous video, I can't remember which one, but I mentioned that I've really been loving bold hoops lately. I love how they look with higher collars, even though they look pretty with low collars as well. But I just love higher cut tops or turtlenecks with statement hoops or just like bold hoops. I am obsessed. I used to be in love with hoops a while ago. I honestly had more pairs of hoops than I could count. It was my entire earring collection. It was all that I would wear. Then I just switched to studs and I still wear studs. I love them. But now I'm really, really into hoops. I don't know what it is. I'm just obsessed. And the first ones that I'm gonna talk about are these that I'm wearing. These are from a store that I found on Instagram called Somme or Somme Studio, S-O-M-M-E. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but they have such beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Yeah, I really love them. They haven't irritated my super sensitive ears yet. And I also got these. And originally these are actually what I was looking for. I was looking for a more oval shaped thick hoop because I just love how unique these look. But what I love about these is that you don't have to go crazy on your makeup. You don't have to go crazy on your outfit. You just throw these on and they make a statement. They dress you up. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with these kind of bold, thicker hoops at the moment. The last pair of gold hoops were actually sent to me, but I am so in love. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted about them. It's these that I'm wearing on my second piercing. They're from Majuri. And if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my viewfinder. I know that bothers a ton of people but I just want to make sure that I'm in focus. But yeah, it's these hoops, and they're just the tiniest, chubbiest, cutest little hoops ever. I love wearing them on my second piercing with bigger hoops or on my first piercing, and then I wear like a little stud or something on my second piercing. But I am so in love with them. I cannot recommend them enough. If you're somebody that's not that into crazy jewelry, uh, but you are looking for more statement jewelry, something that you can throw on to go out and you look more put together, I definitely recommend these bold hoops. They are super on trend at the moment and I hope the trend is here to stay because I just, I can't get enough of them lately. I really can't. The last piece of jewelry that I got this month that I also haven't really taken off ever since I got it is this necklace. It is also by Majuri and it is from their Zodiac collection. I really love coin necklaces or something that resembles a coin necklace at the moment. I feel like they are still dainty, but again, they make a statement. The chain is super, super minimal and thin and you can barely tell it's there. And then it has the little charm, which resembles kind of like the whole coin vibe that I love but it has my zodiac sign on it. I am an Aries, for those of you that didn't know. Usually I don't like anything that has my zodiac on it, but I feel like Majuri just does everything so right. They used the zodiac sign in the stars, so at first glance, you can't even tell, you know, it's a zodiac sign. I think that's super cool. I think that is such a minimal, simplistic, elegant, beautiful way to represent a zodiac sign in jewelry and I just I, I honestly they just do everything so right that's why I constantly mention Majuri in all of my videos I just really really love that brand I do layer it most of the time but since I wore my hoops today I never wear like a shorter necklace when I wear the hoops I just feel like it's too much if you guys didn't know Glossier launched their first ever fragrance this month and they did launch it on the 23rd but they sent me it in the beginning of the month. So I've been testing this scent out for almost an entire month and I can honestly tell you guys that this is my favorite perfume at the moment. And I am very picky when it comes to perfumes. I don't like for it to smell overwhelming. I don't like for it to be too warm or too soft or too anything. I like it to be right in the middle. I like for it to be unique. I don't like for it to smell like every other perfume. If that makes any sense, I don't even know if I'm explaining myself right, but I'm just, I'm picky. I'm very picky when it comes to scents, and I can genuinely, honestly say that this is my favorite scent at the moment. And just a little disclaimer, I know that I am a rep for Glossier. I know that this was sent to me along with almost everything else that I mentioned about Glossier on my channel. 
but I have never, ever, I mean, I probably haven't tried as many things from other brands as I've tried from Glossier, but I have never come across a brand that is so consistent. It's just crazy to me how right they always get everything. Just like Majuri gets everything right with jewelry, Glossier gets everything right with beauty and skincare and fragrances apparently. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful scent. I, I don't even know like how to describe it. I really don't. All I can say is that it's like intoxicating. Like it's like the type of scent that you just want to keep smelling. So if you guys didn't know, you actually get a complimentary uh, sample of this perfume with any purchase that you make on Glossier. So I definitely recommend that you guys get a sample of this. So moving into fashion favorites, I just filmed a fall haul, which I will link, and the majority of the things in that haul are honestly favorites, but I didn't want to make this video a million years long, so I only picked a couple of the things that I wore, I guess, the most this month. And the first thing is this sweater, and this is by Mango, and it just has like a frayed, like, finish right here, which I love in any top. I love that undone, kind of like effortless look that it gives off and the sleeves is just like what caught my eye the most it's not really a bell sleeve but the fact that it ties kind of makes it a bell sleeve if you take this off it's just a regular sleeve it's not it's not belled or anything it just looks belled because it's cut and then you just put this and it looks like even more of a bell sleeve it's probably not the most practical thing ever you know if you're eating or or doing anything that might dirty them i'm surprised i still haven't dirtied this but i love it next again if you saw my fall haul you would have seen this this is my trench coat my flowy trench coat it is called a trench coat but honestly i think the only reason they call this a trench coat is because of the storm flap in the back and it's just perfect again if you live in warmer climates this is more of a duster something to just kind of layer or dress up your outfit i don't know but i love it i really really do i think it's the perfect layering piece it has pockets which i'm obsessed with and it has slits on the side super flowy looks beautiful when you're walking it will keep you warm obviously if you layer like a sweater underneath but for the most part this is just like a pretty layering piece next i have two pairs of shoes which again were part of my fall haul uh the reason i'm mentioning all these things in this video it's because i bought most of these things at the end of september so i've been wearing it throughout all of October. So the first ones are these flat mules. I'm not gonna get too into it because you guys can just check that video out if you want me to go a lot more in detail, but I've really been loving these. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I personally love them. I love how soft they are and how comfortable they are and how easy they are to just slip on. And the next pair is these flats from H&M. They're the ones that kind of square off in the top and they have a sling back. I think that they're so cute and I love how the bottom is brown. One of my favorite things in flats is the combination of black and brown in the bottom. The Mark Fisher ones are all black and I think that's why I have a little bit more trouble wearing that with everything because it's just completely black. I just feel like whenever there's some kind of brown or wood detail on the shoe, it makes it more casual and more wearable. For whatever reason next jumping into home decor the first thing that i have is a magazine you guys know that i am a sucker for a pretty cover i love to decorate with magazines i just love aesthetically pleasing magazines always have so i got this revs magazine this is actually the spring and summer edition but i really really loved the cover it goes with a lot of my decor this was recommended to me by a subscriber so if you're watching this thank you so much i absolutely love it i can't get enough of it and the inside is very very beautiful you know not just the outside so i've been obsessed with this this is on my sofa table next i have these little puffy fuzzy plants i got this at hobby lobby you can probably find it at michael's or any craft store for the fall i started decorating with dried out wheat and i really loved the look of that but i felt like it needed something else so i came across these and i thought that they would just go perfectly with the wheat so i mixed them and i'm just obsessed i'll probably leave these in my house year round because i just love the color so much don't get me wrong i love green plants or flowers and things like that but i just i i love the vibe that this gives and of course this beige color you guys already know how i feel about this color but i just think that they look so cute and they make things feel 
so cozy so i threw away the wrapper that said the name of these but i will try my best to find the name of them and i will put it in the description box for you guys so this month i actually ran out of all the candles in my house besides my one Le Labo candle that I have on my sofa table because I burn that thing like once a year because those candles are extremely expensive And when I burn candles, I just leave them on. I know that you're not supposed to But I am very guilty of leaving candles on for hours Okay, if I don't order my candles online or find one that I really like somewhere, you know, like more luxurious candles I get the majority of my candles at Marshalls. I love Marshalls and TJ Maxx for candles. Uh, I like more fresh, subtle scents, but I did want a seasonal candle because I just love fall and October and I wanted to bring that into my house. So I got this one and out of all of the ones that I smelled there, this was the one that I thought would give me the least amount of headache. But with that said, I don't burn this for that long because it can be a little bit too much for me. But just keep in mind that I'm extremely picky when it comes to scents, but it does smell really good and it is potent. So you light this thing up and your whole house is gonna smell like a farmhouse pumpkin. And I always try to get candles that have a lid because I just close it to turn it off so that smoke doesn't go everywhere uh next i got this one by sensational and you guys already know how i feel about amber bottles and i really love the wood top too super cute this one is more along the lines of what i usually look for this is in tobacco and vanilla and it's warm but not too warm it's definitely more on the fresh and airy side i have this on the bench in the entrance of my house and I really love it. I love the way that it looks and I love the way that it smells. Next, I have this candle and I have mentioned this company before. It's called Manly Indulgence, but this is a new scent for me. It's called Ivy League. It smells like clean house. Like, you know when you just mop your floors, if any of you use pine soul or anything like that, it smells like that, but it has a hint of like a manly perfume, just something very very slightly warm so it's very fresh it smells very clean but it has a tiny hint of that like manly warmth to it i cannot even like explain how much i love this scent this was definitely one of those candles that i picked it up i smelled it and it went directly into my cart and they last me a pretty long time and i burn these very frequently and the last thing is a food item and this is probably what i'm most excited about because i kid you not I have been eating this every single day, every morning since I got these. These are the Kodiak Cakes, Power Cakes, Buttermilk, Flapjack, and Waffle Mix. And I know that these are raved about on like fitness YouTube channels and I've been wanting to try them for a very long time. And I understand the hype. I'm not kidding when I say that all I've eaten for breakfast since I got these are two of these pancakes i throw in some dark chocolate chips and my eggs with spinach and stuff in the morning so obsessed and honestly you would not be able to tell that you're eating 14 grams of protein in your pancakes with this because it does not taste like protein to me at all I, it could be the dark chocolate chips and the syrup that i put on top but i have tasted the actual pancake and they're fluffy they're like perfectly crispy on the top if you cook them a certain way I don't know, they're just amazing. Like they're the perfect pancake for me. I need to go back to Target and get like 15 more of these boxes because I promise you this is just something that I'm never gonna get tired of eating in the morning. So that is everything for my favorites this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.